uh, video clip number five, how to program your pendant. The first thing we have to do is take our pendant in our hand, and this is the front side of the pendant, and on the back side of the pendant, you'll see we have these two buttons, button number one, button number two. These buttons are used to access our emergency contact numbers. Today I'm going to show you how to program button number one. Once I finish showing you how to program button number one, button number two will be programmed in the same way as button number one. Let me put the pendant back in its base and I'll show you how this is done. In order to program your pendant, you're going to need your handset. Pick up your handset and I want you to hit menu select and now we're going to scroll down through our choices intercom, phone book, caller ID, reminder, ringers, set date and time, there it is, pendant. Hit menu select and now you'll see memory one and memory two. Memory one corresponds to button number one on your pendant. Memory two corresponds to button number two on your pendant. I'm going to program memory number one. So I select memory number one. I've already pre-programmed it for 995. If you wish, you can put in your own number for contact purposes. And in order to erase that number, you just use the menu select button here at the bottom and you can actually remove the 995 out of the pendant. Right now there's nothing in here. But let's go ahead and put in 995 just to demonstrate how it's done. So 995. I'm happy with that number and now I will hit menu select. The second thing you see on the screen is where you can write in who this contact person or persons are. In this case I wrote down the word or typed in the word emergency but let's say you wanted to rename it something else so you can backspace take out the word emergency and let's just say 995 you wanted to call it fire so we'll put in the word fire up here at the top we have the letters D, E, and F. F is the third letter in this button. So there's F, there's I, R, and there's E, fire. Okay, so you can put down fire and hit menu select. And now you have programmed your first memory button with the correct number 995 and you've named it fire. It's not necessary to put in any name if you choose but if you choose to put in some name you can do that. So at this point we have now programmed our pendant uh, memory number one. Let me put this handset back into the base. Now at this point we're ready to go to use emergency button number one. If it was hooked up to a landline at this point, if you were wearing this pendant and you wish to make a phone call to 995, you could do so by just pushing button number one. When you do, this will dial out 995. When the person at the other end of 995 answers, you can just speak and your voice will be picked up. They will be able to hear every word that you say and they can communicate back to you through the speakerphone that you see here at the front. This speakerphone serves a dual purpose. Not only is it a speaker, but it's also a microphone. <clears throat> Very sensitive. There'll be no difficulty at all in just speaking and your voice will be clearly picked up and you can communicate back with the party whom you're connected to. So, the only other thing we need to do to make sure it's working is on the bottom of this pendant you'll notice that we have a slide switch. Right now it's, it has a green dot. This means that the pendant is activated, it has been turned on. If you chose to go on a vacation and you're not going to be in town for a while, you may want to take your pendant and turn it to the off position by sliding the switch to the left. When you do, you've turned off the pendant and therefore you've reduced the consumption of battery power. But for the most part, you're going to leave it in the on position 
because you're going to probably put it in its charging base uh, periodically every few days to maintain the charge probably while you're sleeping or sometime during the day when you have company visiting you and it's safe to take the pendant off and therefore repro uh, re recharge it. Recharging should only take a very short period of time. If it was completely dead with no battery power at all, it takes three hours. But typically it'll have at least a half a charge in it when you go to um, recharge. So you're talking about an hour, an hour and a half at the most to recharge your battery. And that's only going to be done every three, four, maybe upwards to five days at a time. So with that, we've completed our instructions on how to program our pendant. And uh, we'll now work on video instructional clip number six.